So we did, do have um, a couple of questions that have come in over our time together. And um, the first question is for Michelle. And it's, what is the population of Holy Spirit? How many children on PUF funding do you have? And that is from Grand Prairie. The population of Holy Spirit School, I'm, I'm probably the worst person when it comes to, to numbers, and that's why they keep me with the ECS. Um, I told someone earlier today that, that our, we have a student population of about 6,000, but I think it's actually something closer to 5,000 students. Um, in our early in our early learning, so that would be our, our pre-kindergarten as well as our kindergarten, we have about 900 children that we serve. Of those 900 uh, children across the division, we do have um, approximately um, 100 children who do need um, specialized supports um, and are, are qualified um, through pro program unit funding. So, yeah. Okay. And um, our next question is also from Grand Prairie, and I wasn't sure if it was directed to Lynn or Michelle, but we'll get um, Lynn to answer that. And it's, um, where are the centers? Are they classes in schools? When I was referring to the Early Education Center, that is a standalone program in a separate building. We're actually a school ourselves. That's why I'm the principal of it. Um, uh, so that's what I'm referring to. It is a standalone preschool program in one particular building. Our third year puffs generally go to the neighborhood kindergarten, so that's the outreach component of our programming. Okay. The uh, next question is, is there a fee for the Early Learning Wellness Center? And that question is from Wetaskiwin, so that's interesting. Um, we. <laughs> We do charge a fee for the typically developing children who come into our preschool program because they don't access any education funding. Um, they're too young unless they have either a mild, moderate code or a severe code. Um, in our community, um, it's a very low monthly fee and really it's just to sort of buy that extra paper and a little little bit of supplies that uh, the extra number of children would uh, would require so it's only fifty dollars a month um, and we actually don't charge for September because we like to use that as sort of a trial month for us and them just in case you know it's just not working out or um, we we've rarely uh, refused entry to a child but oftentimes we do recommend some further assessment and then they join us as a puff child um, so yes the fee but it's very low <laughs> 